Hello everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we are going to talk about the Battle Pass. As you can see, I just bought it and I did not touch anything in my garage. I didn't buy anything. I wanted to do it live because I think it could be an interesting idea to discover the pass with you in a video directly. For those of you interested in not really completing the event, just go straight in and go directly to the stage level 40. So how is it? Uh, as you can see, as I bought the premium pass, I unlocked the first one and when I click right on it, I receive my rewards. Now, of course, I have uh, I have all these stuffs that you can see right there. At the end of the video, in the edit, I'm going to put you the, the total of what you can win with the regular pass and what you can win with the premium pass, don't worry. But in order for us to do that, we are first going to see what are the rewards as you can see we have vaults for free experience uh, you already know what it is but still i want this thunder you already know why i'm here i want the thunder and that's exactly what we're about to uh, discover together so uh, as you can see you have the right speed up thing here so i guess that's here that you can increase your levels yes it is so i'm gonna just simply get everything so i did it once uh, uh yeah i did it once so yeah i only have to click on my reward that's what we're gonna do let's take all of our rewards oh you can no oh no you have to click oh that's boring the, having to click on uh now is it unlocked oh no okay we're good we're good we unlocked pretty much everything we go again let's go took 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 i love the the screen thing that they put here that's very very nice that's a nice little thing so we unlock again all our little rewards right there let's go one more time uh, yeah one more time i'm gonna go for uh yeah for four thousand twice i guess to unlock everything yeah okay give me my rewards and finally we go for the three last one up it cost a lot uh really to to speed it up it cost a lot but uh, i guess that's the price to pay to have everything in advance so i don't really mind that okay we unlocked everything now let's see how the thing performs so as i unlocked everything i have the vaults here how are the vaults working for the moment, I did not uh, work on that, but I guess my vaults can be filled for me to claim all my gold, etc. I'm going to do a video on the vaults when they will be fully complete. I'm going to wait a little bit for that. Maybe it's going to be in two, three days. But you have the golds right there available. Of course, the gold vault is only when you are paying the premium pass. So, 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 we did everything we had to. Uh, let's just take a look at the missions. Uh, the... the Clearly, it's the same missions we already had. The only difference here is that they had this new currency that is the one allowing you to unlock everything on the battle pass. So, let's see how it looks like in uh, in the game itself. I did not put the thing first. I'm going to just check my avatars. So, Spec Ops avatar unlock with the premium pass. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool reward. That's a nice one. Victory Chevron, what is that? Unlock with the regular pass during Operation Onslaught. Okay, that's the, the free-to-play reward, I guess, and that's the premium one. Okay, do we have anything else here? No, we don't. I'm expecting the background thing to be in my certificates or something like this. Is it the case? Change your profile background. Yeah, set. Let's set it up. And now I should have a nice profile background. Uh, I also unlocked certificate for research vehicle. And as you can see, these are permanent, which is a good thing because next time they're going to implement any tanks, probably the light uh, Vicar 105, I'm going to be able to grind them more easily. We also have certificates discounts that are being used also uh, on pretty much whatever you want, tier 8, tier 9 and tier 10. And also what is good about these ones is that they are permanent as well. We unlocked the camouflages, uh, Vesuvio, Amazonia uh, and I think that's all. That, that's already good I guess. Uh, okay, let's just take a look at... Uh, oh, nice. Nice one. This one is cool. I like the... I like the style. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so now let's just check real quick the Thunder. Uh, just to look at the big boy itself. I'm gonna review it in the afternoon. Don't worry. Just want to know if the tank uh, looks cool. Yeah, I guess... Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I like the camo. I'm gonna equip it real quick. 
and just check out the statistics. Uh, I'm gonna do a preview of my upcoming video that I'm gonna do on the tank. Uh, yeah, I might go like this. Okay, we're good. Equipment. Tuck, 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 uh, tuck, 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 and this. Nice, we're good. Uh, that's a. Uh, I would have loved Wargaming to actually give you the tank with all the equipments unlocked, but four or five dollars, let's say it's worth it. Uh, let me let me equip it once again. Up and up. Nice. So uh, basically, what did we have in the uh, battle pass? We had pretty cool rewards, uh, vault, etc., etc. But the main question remaining is: Is it really worth it or not? First thing first, I would advise you, for those of you who already have the Covenanter, to buy, uh, to buy it. To sell it before jumping on the first reward, so you're gonna get gold for free by selling the Covenanter and you're gonna get it back. And also, uh, yeah, it seems like a truly good offer if you're willing to play a lot during these days. But I mean, it's quarantine, guys, you don't have excuses. Five dollars for all these rewards are... It's worth it. It's truly worth it, I think. Even for free-to-play players, I mean, you still can unlock some gold. Not a lot, of course, but that's already gentle from Wargaming to allow you to get 300 gold. So, you know what? Uh, with the edit, as I told you, I'm going to put the rewards, the total rewards you get on pretty much uh, both premium and regular pass. And after that, we are going to review probably the, the Thunder. So yeah, overall, that's a pretty good thing. Uh, I'm glad Wargaming put that in the game. I really think it's a, it's a good thing. I was a little bit scared with the price of the Battle Pass, pass at first. But it seems like it's a pretty good offer. And uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I just wanted to open the the vaults, uh, the vaults, the Battle Pass with you in order to understand how it works. Now I think I have... Uh, everything I need. I, I have every. I've answered all the questions I could have on the tank, uh, on the thunder, on how to get rewards, etc., etc. So yeah, I would say it's extremely worth it. Only if you are gonna play to unlock the rewards. If you do like I just did here, you're gonna lose twenty thousand gold, and it's not worth it, of course. But if you manage to get all the way up to the top to level to level forty using a premium pass, not grinding with gold it's worth it so yeah overall great offer thank you wargaming for this one that's a, that's a really really nice one not gonna lie and uh, yeah i truly encourage you to get yourself a battle pass and if you are too poor to get one you should join the discord server because we're gonna get a giveaway for a battle pass really really soon Anyway, you will find the Discord server on the description. I'm going to leave you here because I don't have much things to say about the tank. See you soon and take care of you.